Welcome to lecture 13 of Aerospace Propulsion. In this lecture, we're going to go through the material from chapter 7 in the text uh, by Comsky and Hayes, which deals with the selection of fan pressure ratio, the determination of specific thrust, and the bypass ratio for our new efficient aircraft engines. So we've previously settled on the design of our core. Um, in today's lecture, then, we'll move on to figure out how to select the fan pressure ratio and show how that then fixes what the value of the bypass ratio will be, as well as the specific thrust. Another parameter that we have to choose first is the way we want the ratio of the bypass jet velocity to the core jet velocity to be. And interestingly, we'll see that exactly one is not always the best answer. And the jet velocity is essentially set by the fan pressure ratio. So for a given thrust requirement, this ends up setting the engine diameter. The key messages related to the high-level design of our turbofan engine are that we've already since we've already chosen our overall pressure ratio and turbine inlet temperature, this fixes the temperature and pressure that are going to be going into our low-pressure turbine. With the jet velocity for the bypass and the core flows equal, the low-pressure turbine-specific work is then set. And so then when we set the fan pressure ratio, this determines the bypass ratio. And we need to consider the nacelle drag and the weight of the engine if we want to be able to find an optimum pressure ratio. And solving for what the bypass ratio is can't be done directly, but instead requires an iterative procedure. So first let's talk a little bit about efficiency. So turbofan engines actually have three contributions to efficiency, right? For turbojet, we previously derived that the overall efficiency was the product of the propulsive and thermal efficiencies. And we know that using a high overall pressure ratio and a high turbine inlet temperature will help get us good thermal efficiency. Um, we also need to know that we need to have low jet velocities to have high propulsive efficiencies. And this is what led to the idea of the turbofan in the first place. Um, but for the turbofan engine, we have to include another factor, which is the transmission efficiency, which essentially accounts, as we'll see, for losses in other components present. So if we redefine our thermal efficiency, as the kinetic energy that would be produced if the core flow were expanded to ambient pressure before the work is extracted to drive the bypass part of the fan over the heat input for combustion, which is the normal denominator. Um, this basically introduces a hypothetical point somewhere within the low pressure turbine where sufficient work could have been extracted to power the fan route, the part where the flow is going into the core, and the booster, but not the bypass stream. So what I'd like you to do is try to kind of sketch out engine layout to get an idea of like what's captured by this new thermal efficiency. Um, so how would you sort of explain what this includes um, and do it by kind of imagining, you know, visually splitting the, the low pressure turbine into two parts. So try to do this for a couple of minutes, come up with your own sketch before you move on to the next part of the video. <laughs> 